okay, you haven't got time to go out on a photo shoot, you want to use your camera and you've got a spare half an hour at home. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about an idea that I have when I've only got a short amount of time to use my camera. I go outside, set the tripod up, look up in the sky and often you can see some really lovely clouds. They don't have to be oranges and reds, they can just be normal fluffy clouds. And you can put your camera onto a tripod, use a zoom lens, so I tend to use the Canon 18 to 150 lens, put it on a tripod, look up in the sky and take some shots. So what I'm going to do now is show you some of my shots and we're going to have a look in Lightroom because if you take your photos in RAW, I take all my photos in RAW, I don't take any in JPEGs, you'll notice that the, the clouds often come out fairly flat but all the information's there because you've taken it in RAW. So you, can, so you can spend a little bit of time practicing, trying to get that 3D effect. So you can really see the fluffy clouds and the wispy clouds in the background. You can pull out the color, you know, if it's a nice blue sky in between the clouds, or you can turn it into black and white and really get that moody look. So let's have a look in Lightroom and look how I process. Okay, here we are in Lightroom, and this is one of the photos that I took from the garden. And this is a, a this is in raw format. You can see that I took it on 320th of a second at f14 on ISO 100, and I was zoomed in to 60 millimeter. Now the problem with this is that because it's raw, it looks very flat and we haven't really got all the colors showing yet but i did have a very big issue and that was that i actually had some dust on my sensor so all the photos came out with a little mark and if you look down here i'll just point to it now you can see that little mark well that's a piece of dust on my sensor so i have since cleaned the sensor but um, we've now got to deal with this in lightroom so I'm going to deal with that first before we start editing the photo. Um, so just click the photo to make it a bit bigger. Okay, so here's the spot here. So I want to remove that spot, that one there. So just click the spot removal tool. Resize the circle with the wheel on your mouse. So that it's just going over the imperfection. Left click and then click the spot removal tool again and that's removed it nicely so now we want to start editing the photo so I don't like to do too much um, but we've got to bring these clouds out so that we get more of a 3d looking they're, they're very flat at the moment and the sky was certainly a lot bluer than what this is showing so what I'm going to do is I sometimes just bring the exposure up very very slightly not much and then bring the contrast in so I've just moved that up to about plus 46 I'm going to bring the highlights down a bit just to about there and then I want to bring the blacks down so that they're showing more so I'm moving that to the left I'm going to go too much but almost immediately you're starting to see that we've got a more 3d looking photo we've got more of a separation between these clouds I'm going to bring the whites down to the left in fact if I took them up see how it sort of goes a bit too much so I'm just going to bring them down slightly and then the shadows I'm going to bring I could take the shadows up but that's not what we want I'm just going to bring that down to the left and we can really see this cloud on the bottom left 
separating from the cloud behind it now we've got a much bluer sky and you can see the wispy cirrus clouds up there in the background the next thing i tend to do is come down to this tone curve and i just make it into a bit of an s shape so you just go up to the highlights and just move it up slightly and then come down to the shadows and just pull that down so we've got this slight s shape there and then we have got some noise on this if i just zoom in you can see the noise here so i'm going to increase the luminance and that neatly removes that noise from this particular photo and now it's looking much better so to compare the difference come down to this double Y down the bottom here click that one and you can see the one on the left very flat looking not much color the one on the right we've got rid of that spot there it is on the left there and we've also got much more of a 3d looking photograph we can see the difference between the clouds and the distance between them um, so it really does pull everything out now I don't really want to do much more to it I think that is enough really let's go and have a look at another one okay so this one I decided to see what would happen if we just bring the line of the houses in opposite so to start with I'm going to just bring exposure up very slightly and then the contrast up so we can see a bit of a contrast there I'm going to bring the highlights down and straight away we start to see the sh shape of the clouds I'm going to bring that black to the left a bit and then the whites down slightly and the shadows so we've now got this moody cloud in the foreground leading out to the whiter clouds in the background this bottom bit has darkened now this would be much better if it was <laughs> hills on the lake district or mountains wouldn't it but it's all about this spare half an hour that we've got to have a little practice and using our camera and our editing software so i need to darken this down the bottom a bit more so if you click this button here the masking going to mask this one and then I'm going to select linear gradient and then just bring that up there and I'm going to bring exposure down and maybe the blacks to the left as well so we've got a nice black background there or a, a nice black silhouette then click your button again and let's just check the difference between the two of them that's the one I prefer so you can see the houses there but here we've just got a silhouette the clouds are very flat on the left hand side but we've now got much more depth to the clouds we might want to bring that blue out a little bit more in the middle so let's just go out and see if we can do something with that we can just perhaps increase the saturation a little bit and the vibrance not too much otherwise it just doesn't look natural what you want to do is bring out the natural colors if I take that vibrance right up you can see that might be artistic but it's not natural so I'm just going to bring that just double click it if you want to go back to the beginning and then that resets it and I think that just brings a bit more blue out that we want there and we can see those whites and we can see the shapes of the clouds so I think that one is fairly good what I'm going to do is just check because sometimes you make these changes and you just get a little bit more noise so let's just look in very slight bit of noise in there not too much but I'm just going to remove that noise by increasing the luminance like that um, and then I'm just going to do my tone curve I do like just to bring that up a bit there and down a bit there okay I think we've got just a bit too much saturation so I'm just going to bring that down slightly always go back and check some of your setting some of your earlier settings because as you start making adjustments going down it readjusts other things now I think for this one that will do we've got a nice 3d looking actually it might be a little bit bright 
in this bit here so what I'm going to do here is click the masking tool again and I'm just going to have a brush and then I'm just going to brush this bit just here and maybe a little bit there and then I'm just going to bring my exposure down a little bit not much and increase my contrast bring the highlights down and I think that's better I can see much better shapes there now so we've got a nice blue background we can see the white clouds and we can see the shape if you feel that you want to have a go at something else um, you know maybe this black is too black up here we can just try it because we can always delete the edits we do so I'm just going to use a linear gradient on this one and just come in diagonally and just expose that a little bit more increase maybe increase the highlights and the shadows yeah I think that's okay click your button again and let's just check by clicking these double Y's down here can you see the difference now we've got a much more 3d looking we've got much more mood to our clouds and we can see the shape of them and going out to the nice blue sky in that gap there and we can see the shape this one here we can see the shape of that lovely it's really brought that out so I'm happy with that one so I'm going to give that a three and now the final one we're going to do a black and white so let's look at this one so this is um, a really nice one now I can see that piece of dust on this one just down here so we need to get rid of that first so I'm just going to use my spot removal and just click over it and let's see what that looks like I think that's perfect just removes it now also when I took this photo a bird was flying past can you see that one just up in the corner if I expand it it's a little bit on the blurry side and we've got another one down here there were a couple of birds and they were so far away we got those a little bit blurred anyway so I'm going to remove those with the spot removal tool again let's just resize it there we go just give it a click and then this one here do the same and that's removed them so now we can start looking at um, turning this into black and white so I'm going to click the black and white but it's still fairly flat so we need, now need to start to change a few of these settings so let's just increase the contrast I'm going to bring the blacks move it to the left that brings the blacks out can you see it's starting to turn into a 3d straight away I'm going to bring the highlights down a bit and that starts to show you the shapes in these highlighted bits the shadow just going to bring that up slightly and then the whites bring that down if I take that up see it's just a bit too much just bring it down hang on let's just double click it set it back just to increase that slightly that's it we've got really starting to see the shapes of these now now I'm just going to come down to the tone curve up slightly at the top down slightly at the bottom and we're really starting to see these shapes now one thing you can do you can adjust um, the various colors on here so if I go to the blue for that blue sky and start moving it to the left can you see we it darkens things slightly which is what we want we want that nice moody black and white cloud and I think that's all we need to do I'm just going to make sure we haven't got any noise in this one and we haven't really got a lot I'm just going to increase the noise reduction a little bit because I can see little bits in there that's it now let's look at the difference between the original and this one there we have the original looking fairly flat but turning it into black and white it really gives that mood doesn't it and it just gives a nice 3d effect so I'm pretty happy with how that one's come out so I'm going to give that three stars and now export them as jpegs thanks very much for watching and if you enjoyed that video please give me the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing so that you don't miss future videos 
and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.